Witch here, and I just wanted to uh, show you a little bit of stuff that I've been doing, and then also share a little tiny haul. Um, I was in Tijuana this weekend and was able to harvest some sage, and I never take, you know, too much. I, I don't like to take more than what I need. So um, I was able to get five bundles bundled up. And I always leave an offering. And then also, I do use every bit of it. <laughs> Even like the, the leftover sticks, um, we burn those in a bonfire. And it smells so good. And, um, you know, like the, the trimming and stuff that falls off, I'll dry that out. And I pretty much never run out of sage, so that's a good thing. I always have loose sage. I always have bundles. Um, so yeah, it smells so good right now. And let me show you some other things I've been working on. Just little crafty things. I don't know. I've been kind of dealing with a lot of anxiety and something I do to kind of, you know, curb that anxiety is some crafting stuff. So let me just show you what I've been doing. So I love paper. I love tea staining paper, coffee staining, herb staining, and I usually use like all of the above. Anyway, um, so I've been just using different sizes. Um, I like to use the this small size, and this is five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. I like to use these for petition papers and spells, and um, I just think that it's just the perfect little size. So, and then these I'll use uh, if I write a, you know, like a smaller spell and um, use some adhesive and put it in my book of shadows. Same with these. And then I experimented. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so I've had this paper for years, and it has. Um, it's like pinkish and has roses, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to try to stain that just to see how it goes. So I did, and I really love the effect. Ugh, you can't really see on here. I'm sorry. In real life, though, it looks really cool. So I'll probably be using these for my Book of Shadows, too. And um, then I have... Some small petition paper bundled up. They're in stacks of 20, all cutely bundled. So I just think it looks so cute like that. I have been experimenting a little bit. These are not done. They're just sort of a work in progress, uh, just a little kind of experiment going on. I wanted to make some Harry Potter wands. So that's what's going on there. And I don't know if they turn out super cute. Maybe I'll do a tutorial. But so far I like. Okay, and this is my fairy protection salt. I don't know if you can see how sparkly it is. And then these cute little vials of fairy dust. Because I love fairy dust. And I like to be able to just have it in my pocket or my purse or whatever and take it with me. I can sprinkle it anytime I want to. And, um, yeah, one in silver, one in gold. I have other colors too, but I just grabbed these ones. So sparkly. Oh my gosh. I could totally sit here and just look at this for like ever. <laughs> Okay, and then these Day of the Dead earrings I actually made a while ago, but somebody was asking about them. These are beer caps. I did not paint that um, on there. I wish I was that good of an artist, but I'm just not. So these are beer caps, and they sell Day of the Dead beer. Um, I got mine at Costco, and then I just kind of drilled a little hole there and attached it and I love Day of the Dead so I'm gonna get to my haul because there are a couple things that I want to show you that are Day of the Dead related so I shall start with them first um, in my little haul 
portion of the video. These are Day of the Dead candles, seven day candles. And I got these, they were a dollar at Food for Less. <laughs> and um, yeah, I had to have both colors. So I cannot wait to get these going. I'm so excited for Day of the Dead, I can't wait. And I'll probably paint my face again like I did a few years ago. And I'll, okay, if I can find the, the picture, I'm gonna insert it right here. Okay, so I was much heavier then. I've lost 90 pounds so far, yay! I hit such a huge goal in my weight loss and now I have a new goal set. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. And let me get to the rest of the haul portion of the video. I get a lot of my witchy stuff in Tijuana because um, there are just so many more choices there. And I love getting these candles. I needed some candles so badly. So I just sort of got an assortment of colors. Ooh, gold. Yeah. And then um, I got some herbs too. So let me show you those. Okay. This isn't an herb, but I do get my um, bundling string that I use to bundle my sage. I get that. I love this stuff. It burns so well when you're burning your sage bundle. It doesn't like smell funny. It doesn't catch on fire or melt weird or anything. It just, yeah, I love it. Uh, okay, I absolutely love getting my herbs in Tijuana and I've been running low. I only got four, but I've been running low on these. Here I got some beautiful Damiana. So I'm glad that I'm like totally stocked up on that. Have some valerian root here. And nobody in my family or in my friend circle likes the smell of valerian root. And I love the smell. I know it smells like dirty socks or ass or something, but I'm not saying I love the smell of dirty socks or ass, but I love the smell of this. And then I got some little baby rose petals. I was so low on those, and I use these all the time. And another thing I use all the time is lavender, and I just had like, I don't know, maybe not even a quarter cup left. So I had to get me this, this good size bag here. But yeah, that's my video. Just wanted to kind of ramble about some stuff and show you what I've been up to, show you a few things that I got over the weekend. Well, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Tomorrow's Monday. Yay. Did you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? I mean, really, I'm just so excited for Monday. Anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed and happy week. And I hope I do too. <laughs> Alrighty, bye.